Hi there! So the much-awaited newly launched Xiaomi Smart TV X Pro is here. This is a 4K 55-inch variant that we've unboxed and have been using for about 8 to 10 days. The biggest visual change is it's now running the latest Google TV OS. Yes, Xiaomi's first TV with the Google TV OS. Then of course, the much-loved patchwork interface with the content looks absolutely spectacular. Then we have a new Patchwork Plus app that gives you access to some of the live TV channels completely free. Lots to share, the good, the not so good. So keep watching till the end. But before we begin, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you never miss an update. Also follow me on my social media handles for more tech info. This is your friend TechSync. Let's get started. Taking you through a quick unboxing, here's the detail packaging. Some key features are mentioned here. There's patch wall, Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Atmos, far field mics, and so much more. On the side mentioned are the manufacturing details and the MRP of 69,999. Inside the box, we get the usual, the user manual, and on the other side, there's also a warranty card. Two metal stands, gray color with a matte finish, really nice and solid screws to mount the stands, two AAA batteries for the remote, and the super compact and functional Xiaomi TV remote. You have the power button on the top, you have the Google Assistant, D-pad to navigate, you have the patch wall shortcut, pack button, home button, shortcut keys for Netflix, Prime videos, Disney Hotstar, YouTube, and the volume button. Of course, there's no mute button, but if you want to, you can press the volume button twice to mute the TV. Really comfortable and easy to use remote. There is a cardboard sheet and a protective film on the display to prevent it from any kind of physical damage during transportation. Don't worry, you don't have to do a thing. The technician from the company will be sent to your doorstep, he will unbox it and set up the device for you at no extra cost. But since the device doesn't come with a wall mount bracket and if you need one to wall mount it, you might have to pay 500 rupees extra. Now as you can see, we have table mounted the TV and it looks really really nice. Super slim bezel design. The frame is made of metal. It has this matte gray silverish finish, which gives the TV a very premium feel. In fact, this might not even seem big, but the metal stands also add to the premium aesthetic of the TV compared to plastic stands. The lower bezel also matches with the frame, the Xiaomi branding in the center. Then the module below has the ambient light sensors and the far field mics. Here are the dimensions of the 55 inch TV, 49 inches in length and 30 inches in height, including the stands. This might be helpful for those who have limited space. The back is very well built as well. The Kevlar texture with Xiaomi branding looks so cool. Though I know, once the TV is wall mounted or placed in front of the table, you probably would never even see it. But it's good to have a well designed product. Some ports are on the side while some ports are below. On the side is a USB-A port, a headphone jack, three HDMI ports and a second USB port. Below are Ethernet, optical, AV composite and antenna. So most often used ports are on the side for easy access, which is good. Then the HDMI 2 port supports eARC, so you can connect it to Dolby Atmos supported soundbars or home theater system for the digital audio output. Also the good thing is that we have an AV composite input port. It's helpful for those who have old setup boxes that lack HDMI connection. All right, super quick look at the specifications. So you get a 4K Ultra HD display. This is a VA panel with a 60 Hz refresh rate. 2GB RAM with 16GB internal storage, Dolby Vision IQ support, hands-free Google Voice Assistant, 40 watt sound output with Dolby Atmos support, and it's running the latest Google TV OS. Now, when it's about a TV, smart or non-smart, it's eventually about the viewing experience. And we've been watching a lot of stuff on this TV, from 4K videos to set-top box channels, and overall, it's been very impressive. Like here's a 4K video playing on YouTube. The colors are vibrant and quite punchy. In fact, at times, it's able to mimic an experience of a QLED TV. It comes with a VA panel, which makes the black deep enough. Like here's a demo video where you can see the brightest whites and the deepest blacks in the same frame. The contrast is fantastic. The colors, of course, can be further tuned from the picture settings as per your preference. 4K videos absolutely shine. The detail and the clarity are stunning. Viewing angles, however, aren't the best. You can notice a slight shift in color and tones when viewed from the sides. And by sides, I mean extremely on the sides. It's not very drastic and most people won't even notice it. 
Now Xiaomi doesn't share peak brightness levels and neither am I going to use a lux meter and give you fake numbers. But if I had to talk about it, I would say check this out. Here's a video playing in a well lit room during the day and even HDR content looks stunning. You shouldn't be concerned about brightness at all. It's more than adequate. Also an issue that we all face is while watching dark scenes where you aren't able to see things too clearly, which is for obvious reasons. So you can enable dark scene boost mode from the picture settings and it amplifies the image for you to see more detail. Also, it's really hard to show it in a video right now, but the difference is really, really noticeable. A lot of people ask me, is this a VA panel or an IPS panel? Well, the unit I've received came with a VA panel. While there could be some who would get an IPS panel, and that's because Xiaomi sources their panels from multiple vendors. But in either scenarios, the viewing experience would be very similar. Then it also comes with MEMC support, which basically creates smoother frames to enhance your sports watching experience. Like nowadays, the IPL craze. You can see everything so clearly. Pottery smooth. However, I suggest you turn off motion smoothing from the display settings while watching movies. All right, coming to the interface. So as you can see, the new Xiaomi TV comes with the all new Google TV OS. Yes, for the first time, Google TV OS on Xiaomi TVs. So on the home page, you can see a full screen carousel, colorful, very eye catchy. Then further below, you have your apps, Patchwall Plus, which will come to a little later, Patchwall, Netflix, YouTube, Sony Live, Geo Cinema, and so many more. We'll come to that a little later. Continue watching list, popular movies, consumer electronics, some of my own videos here. And let me tell you that the interface is really, really smooth, extremely well optimized. And this is where Xiaomi nails it. You can see so smooth. Then further, if you go towards the right, you can go into the settings. And in the system options, about, you can see that it's running the latest Android TV 11 OS. Further down, Android TV security patch is 5th November 2022. Then if you come into storage, out of 16 GB, 12 GB is available. And with all those apps installed, we still have 10 GB of usable space. Pretty impressive. Further, if you come to the apps tab, you can see your apps. In see all, you have all your apps and then you have live TV, media player, gallery, Miracast, and this is something I know a lot of people like. Basically, you can mirror your Android phone to the TV and it works flawlessly. Check that out. Miracast is really, really handy. You can share your pictures, images, videos, everything directly from your smartphone. Then Xiaomi TV also comes integration with the Mi Home app, as you can see. And basically, after you log in, you can see all your Xiaomi smart devices directly on your TV, from smart fans, to the bulbs, to the cameras, and the best part is, you can stream the feed of the Xiaomi security camera. I'm sitting right here. This is actually a live feed on my TV while I'm recording. Isn't this amazing? So basically, you can control and access most of the Xiaomi smart home devices directly from your smart TV. And finally, coming to Patchwork. Now, we've been seeing Patchwork for a while and it's evolved big time. It looks really nice. It's a platform where you can discover so much more new content and it's so interactive content that is trending all here. Further, you have recommended list, India's top 10 live news channels directly here. Click off a button and you can start watching that live news instantly. Further below trending movies, recently added movies by language, popular movies. Further, if you go up, it's subdivided into categories, movies, shows, music. And in the music tab, it's actually got integration with YouTube music. So you can find content here. Currently, I'm not playing them because of copyright issues, but click and it'll start playing instantly. Further, you have the live tab. You can choose from which language you want to stream from. Live news, free to watch content and the famous Patchwork Universal Search. Suppose you're looking for something, you don't know where it is. All you need to do is come here and search and it'll even show you on which platform it is available. Like I searched for RRR, here it is, all the RRR movies. Similarly, you can search whatever you want and it'll tell you where that content is available. Now, a lot of people get confused that everything on Patchwork is for free. Well, not at all. There are content that is available for free, while some of that you will need subscription. But still, there's so much to explore, you're going to absolutely love it. Let's talk about the new app, Patchwall Plus. So it has a huge compilation of free to view channels. And they're even bifurcated movies, news, lifestyle, music. And of course, all you need to do is come here, pick out and just click on it. And there you go. It'll instantly start playing. Sorry, I got to switch this off due to copyright issues. But similarly, there is so much more here to explore. 
However, remember these are just some free channels and not all the popular ones that you're looking for like Sony Live and all, you probably will need subscription for that. But still, I think this has a huge collection that you can go and explore. Then the Xiaomi Smart TV X Pro also supports Dolby IQ. For those who are confused, with IQ the sensors understand the lighting conditions in the room and calibrates the viewing experience accordingly. You can find tons of Dolby Vision content on apps like Netflix. Here you can even spot the Dolby Vision and Atmos logo. Check out the experience as well. Trust me, watching movies and your favorite TV shows is even more fun. Similarly, we also tested other OTT apps. YouTube can stream 4K HDR videos at 60Hz without any lag or stutter. By the way, the TV supports dual band Wi-Fi, so if it's connected to a 5GHz connection, streaming and downloading will be super fast. Talking about downloading, you can download tons of apps from here. All OTT apps, some tool apps and so much more. You can even download games. But remember, some of these games might need a gamepad to work. Here we're playing Crossy Road. It's a pretty basic game. You can play this even using your TV's remote. Very smooth frames and no lag. It also comes with ALLM mode, Auto Low Latency mode. It's designed for those who want to connect their gaming consoles. It works just great. When it comes to setup boxes, we did test it for a couple of days and starting with HD channels, well, they actually look quite good. Very clear and totally viewable. Though we don't have any information about 4K upscaling, but noise reduction does a really good job in making low resolution channels very, very clear. See for yourself. And of course, HD channels look absolutely amazing. Then Bluetooth support, so you can connect your favorite pair of Bluetooth headphones or earphones and enjoy the audio without disturbing anyone. I only wish it came with an option to connect two Bluetooth earphones at the same time. Just a suggestion. Then the X-Pro also comes with hands-free Google Voice Assistant. Just call out OK Google and it'll wake up and simply ask your question like what's the weather, general tree wear questions like I asked at the height of the Eiffel Tower or even ask it to launch apps. All done hands-free. Of course, you can disable this feature by sliding the button at the bottom. Pretty straightforward. Then coming to the audio. We get 40 watt sound output with Dolby Atmos support. It's time for a quick demo. All right, so I have mixed feelings. Let's talk about the good stuff. Firstly, it gets loud enough and there's no distortion even at high volume. The audio quality, however, is just decent. Mostly flat, the bass is okay, the mids are good, the highs are good, but overall the audio quality is average at best. But the good thing is that it comes with Dolby Atmos support. So I highly recommend you invest in a Dolby Atmos soundbar to enjoy that really good experience. Now, my final thoughts. Xiaomi Smart TV X Pro is a premium product from the word go. The build, the design, the picture quality is brilliant. The interface is so well optimized. Patch wall, Dolby Vision IQ. The experience is really, really good. I can easily recommend it. It's available in three sizes. All are 4K TVs with the same specs, except the 43 inch comes with 30 watt sound output, while the rest come with 40 watt. The 43 inch 4K is priced at 32,999. 50 inch 4K is for 41,999 and the 55 inch 4K is for 47,999. Yes, there are cheaper options in the market, but none of them will offer you the patchwork experience and the built in quality at this price. The TVs are already on sale. I'll share the links below in the description. If you'd like to buy one, you should definitely check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. If there are any questions, mention them down in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them all. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, Cheers.